Ladies and gentlemen, Ubisoft are in the gaming headlines again, and once more for all of the wrong reasons. And they tell us, ladies and gentlemen, that they would not limit a game's resolution. And once again, the internet is ablaze with accusations and Ubisoft finding themselves on the back foot, particularly after previous uh, comments from Ubisoft regarding the whole 30 FPS is more cinematic and uh, realistic. So to bring you all up to speed, 900p and 30 FPS is the number for both the PlayStation 4 and the Xbox One. But now Ubisoft is insisting that one console is not being held back to match the other one. Ubisoft does not strain, uh, sorry, constrain its games. We would not limit a game's resolution. We would never do anything to intentionally diminish anything we've produced or developed. This is according to Ubisoft senior communications manager Gary Steinman. Okay, Gary, the problem you've got immediately is Watch Dogs and the PC version. Because the modders who have, well, released mods, and I use the word mod in the loosest possible sense. I only use the word mod because it's the most understood term. It's more of a short-term fix. It's basically a bloody ini file, effectively. Just changing some of the game's uh, game engine settings. And despite Ubisoft claiming that this is, well, you know detrimental to the game's performance and so on and my own testing and other people's testing we've not seen any performance decrease if anything in some cases the frame rate's actually higher so immediately people on NeoGAF on Reddit um, and the regular comments on websites you know you see people with dozens of or well, hundreds actually of upvotes when they've said well what about this situation so immediately People are calling you out on that. But anyway, let's let's continue, shall we? We've spent four years of building the best game, so why would we can imagine? So why would we do anything to hold it back? I simply chose the wrong words. We're talking about the game's resolution, and for that, I'm sorry. Now, what they do say is that the title is pushing the new generation systems more than any other Ubisoft game as it has. A game final resolution isn't going to be set until late in the development cycle. This is notable because the team has dedicated much of the past few months optimizing Unity to reach 900p with a consistent 30 frames per second. Now, in his defense, I will say I would much rather a consistent 30 frames per second and 900p than 1080p with a very inconsistent 30 frames per second. That's fine. I completely support that decision. Anyway, moving on. Considering the sheer number of pixels that are now being moved around at all the times, which affects both the CPU and GPU, that's a significant achievement, especially as Assassin's Creed Unity will be released when the next generation consoles are barely more than a year old. As of all hardware, it becomes easier to optimize when more experience in the software and middleware solutions uh, that come only with time. Now here's the point which is going to probably daze and confuse many of you. Because he then goes on to say that 60 FPS and 1080p are the gold standards, but he doesn't believe it was right for Unity. We made the right decision to focus out on resources, on delivering the best gameplay experience possible, and resolution is just one factor. There's a real cost to all those NPCs and all the details in the city, to all of those systems working together, and to the seamless and co-op gameplay. We wanted the absolute uncompromising when it comes to overall gameplay experience, and those additional pixels come at a cost to the gameplay. And in fact, there is some mention that we could possibly in the future be seeing a 1080p. And once again, he says, we know there's a lot of gamers consider 1080p with 60 FPS to be the gold standard, particularly in the next generation of consoles. We realize we had to really push 1080p for some of our previous games, including Assassin's Creed 4. Um, some of you may remember that there was a post-launch patch which actually bump the resolution from 900 to 1080p and so on and so forth and anyway so basically what he's saying here is that they misspoke but here's the problem with these statements they are contrary to what you've just said because just a day or two ago the internet literally imploded I, I honestly wanted to construct a nuclear fallout shelter or unplug my internet for a bit because People just could not believe when he said, uh, when Ubisoft said that 30 FPS is more realistic and it's more 
filmatic and so on and so forth and here's the problem everyone in the industry knows that that factually is incorrect factually speaking 60 fps is better there's a reason for example that sony with um the last of us remastered one of the things that naughty dog continued to push wasn't the fact that the title was 1080p which it was and they did push that but one of the big problem one of the big things they used as marketing is it's 60 fps and i know a couple of people who didn't actually like The Last of Us much on the PS3 because they felt the gameplay and the combat mechanics because the frame rate just dipped sometimes below 30 FPS. But even when it was stable-ish at 30 FPS, it didn't feel as a natural. Um, the controls just felt clunkier. But on 60 or with Remastered on the PS4, it feels so much better. I wouldn't say significantly better to the like two or three times, but it certainly feels nicer to play. On the PC right now, you've got displays which are pushing to 120 hertz, um, and even guys like industry veterans like John Carmack will tell you if you asked him, "Hey, what do you think of running 30 FPS?" He would probably just look at you as if you're crazy. Um, particularly now, we're starting to move towards virtual reality. My point being, and I'm probably beating this a little bit, that when you make those type of statements, it's very hard to back out. Now, I will admit that there are some problems with these larger corporations because you can start getting mixed messages and once again the problem here though is once you make a statement it's very difficult to reverse it i mean my facebook feed obviously most of my uh, a lot of my facebook friends are gamers and it's the kind of the same thing i actually had people who were telling me well i don't understand this i even had some viewers that were of a message me on youtube or um playstation 4 or whatever and they were just like i you know what's your opinion on this and it was the same thing every single time when i told them uh, and they and they agreed in many cases they just it just it was just baffling to me and the problem is not that they made a decision on their game and this is the this is the crucial crux of the matter I think anyone who knows about console gaming to a reasonable degree knows that you've got hardware standards that you've, you can adhere to. In other words, the CPU, the GPU, they have a finite, limited amount of performance. Done. You can optimize them, you can improve your coding, you can improve maybe the SDKs. And by the way, when we say we or you, I refer to Sony and all of the other companies who are involved in this. So we're talking, for example, let's say bob's bob's company bob's company wants to produce an fps just for example well bob's company might be licensing the havoc engine and unreal engine and they also might be producing it for the playstation 4 so in other words the performance that they're going to get out of that game is down to the programming skill of bob's company it's down to the optimization of ue4 it's down to the middleware engines that they decide to use for example havoc or whatever they end up with and of course finally it's down to sony for their own optimizations and drivers and so on and so on and so on so in other words it's a team effort and once again this stuff is going to improve over time but there still is only a finite amount of performance that you can wrangle out of the systems so if ubisoft had said straight from the beginning look we know that everyone really wants 1080p and 30 and 60 fps but we can't do it with this title we're really sorry we're going to try and push to 1080p possibly in a post patch we're going to try and do that but we're not going to promise it but we do know that we can deliver a solid 900p um, 30 fps and here are the reasons and i think people would be less inclined to rage one area however that does confuse us at the moment is if you look at the raw performance differential between the PS4's GPU and the Xbox One's GPU, well, normally on most games, that's the difference between 900p and 1080p. If you calculate the pixels, basically, literally if you just times 1920 by 1080, or if you times um, 1600 by 900, and then you calculate the difference between those two final numbers, that's roughly kind of getting in the ballpark of the performance difference between the PS4 and the Xbox One's GPU. In fact, it's actually slightly less. But generally speaking, it's around that. So what many are asking is, well, why still is the PS4 version um, behind the Xbox One? One area that I can think of is the amount of artificial intelligence and so on is really holding it back. But generally, that doesn't really scale with resolution. So I think for many, 
we still have some questions, is basically what I'm going to tell you. Regardless, I think this answer's better, and I'm more satisfied with it, but the normal caveats, of course, apply, and I, I have a feeling that this saga is not over yet. And I think it's actually good, because I realise to some people, they, you might not care about the resolution, you might not care about frame rates so much, but here's the problem with all of this. It's not necessarily the frame rate, it might not affect you, but I think verbal and great verbal communication from these companies and being honest and open with you as consumers is it crucial it's not like they are creating state secrets once a game was unveiled and we know that the title is going to be worked on it's important that we as gamers have realistic expectations and this is once again going into the realms of like bull shots and um, e3 trailers that whole infamous uh, scenario where you see a game being played at e3 and how many people are truly excited or truly believe that the titles are going to end up how it looks on the e3 screen and that's another problem as well whereas i think that if it was more open it would actually be it would actually do the reverse and i think excitement levels would definitely build anyway I've prattled on enough, hopefully you've enjoyed the video, I'll see you soon, take care and bye for now.